Hello and welcome back to the madness. I know I'm late. I'm always late. Um, I just got a lot of stuff going on in my house. So, and I've been doing a lot of things and it's just been busy around here. I haven't been stitching a lot either. So last week I was like, well, I really didn't stitch anything. So is there really a point to make a video? Because there wasn't a lot of stitching to show, which it really, last night I was like, if I would have, cause I took six days off of stitching this month. And if I wouldn't have, then I would have had gotten my highest, the highest stitch count for Harry Potter. That was an awful. Okay, so what have I stitched on? Let me get to that one so I know that I'm telling you the right things. So, what have we done? Okay. So, now remind, remember this is two weeks worth. So, we're doing from July 16th to July 31st. So, the 16th, 17th, and 18th, which I did 2,102 stitches in, so there, there is that much. I finished, well, I didn't do it all in this day, but we gotta finish. This chapter is done. I love, love, love how it turned out. Are you seeing it good? Yeah. So, I'm super excited with that. I'm still contemplating this one because I think in the scheme of it, well, I don't know. It just feels out of place, which I mean it is. It's a different pattern. But I did um, go on Etsy and got a whole bunch of like little motifs that I'm gonna try to, here that works, fill in here like I did with this one here. Okay, I don't know why this isn't working for me today. I just can't seem to grab the fabric the right way. So this one, I had all this room down here left for this chapter and I did the two motifs. And I really feel like that finished out that chapter. So I'm hoping maybe putting more motifs in that one will make that one look good. Um. But yeah, I love how it turned out. It is freaking stunning. So, that week, all I did was work on Harry Potter. Then the following week, I worked more on Harry Potter, but I worked on, let's put that over there, <gasps> July's Cottage. And then, so I did 400, 600, 400, and that's, that's it for this. And then I kept working on Harry Potter's sale. And then I worked on, because it was Christmas in July, and I started this last July, I put more into this. And this is gonna be put up. And I'll probably take it out during Christmas and finish this one. I'm really liking this one. Um, I only put 700 stitches in it, but that 700, like, it was a lot. It finished out the house. So I know when I started, I had like this part of the house done. No, the house isn't even finished. What am I talking about? I still had to do more in the house. I did the snow and then I started with the Merry Christmas. That's right. So I'm like, wait, no, that house isn't done. No, the house is not done. Okay. And then, oh God, it is so hard to put this one down. This one is fun. And like I said, I don't care if my son wants his or not. I'm still going to stitch his Gryffindor for him because I love stitching this. It is so much fun. And it's something that I can just sit back and just not even have to really think about it. 
the envelope I did have to think a lot. I mean, there was a lot of counting, but it's such like, here, is that better? It's such bulk colored stitching with a little bit of counting. It's, it's just a lot of fun. But guys, that's all the stitching I did. Five minutes, I mean, that's what I got to show you. Um, but it's because, too, we're getting ready. Today is the day we get to start. We got, I don't know how many in here cut so far, but all my starts, well, not all of them. The one, one, okay, so every day, maybe two, three times a day, I'm going to pick one out and just start working on it. This is, I swear. Um, I do know though tonight, because I've been dying to start it, I am going to start on the, something about autumn. Autumn. <gasps> Ooh, I want to start that one too. All of the, um, autumn rules, that's right. Um, I'm going to start autumn rules tonight. But each day I'm just, I'm going to blindly just go in it and pick one out. Like today would have been Happy Easter Gnome. It's already cut. I'm using my um, Master Floss. And I rearranged my whole area again. So it's easy just to oop, pull out one of the box. Get the let get the number. Go to the next. So I did have it down there a little bit more, but it was so hard to reach. I'm like, why don't I just move them back over here? I like them over here, so that's what I did. Okay, so it's all for the floss tube, guys. Sorry, there's not much to discuss because it was getting all ready for tomorrow's my birthday. Oh, if you guys don't know. This is what this thing is all about. I am starting 50 new starts because tomorrow I turn 50. So, it's a lot of prep work. Getting them on Pattern Keeper, then getting them cut. The only good thing is, is I don't have to pull floss because every day when I stitch, I'll just be pulling the floss and then at night putting it away. So. What I'm going to do, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because I was thinking about just doing the, I'm going to start yawning, where I look and see, okay, I know I'm going to be using these next five colors. I'm not going to do that because I think that's going to slow me down. It's just easy. I'll have one of these boxes cleaned out. I have tons of these. Um, well, it's going to be this one. What am I talking about? Um, because I, in my master set, I don't put black 310, um, B52. What is the other one? Three, three, eight, six, five. Those don't get put away. Those, this is what I'm working out of every single day. So this was wizard, wizarding. So I have to put these back now and then when I pull I'm just going to keep them in here and then before I go to bed I'm going to put them away. I think that's going to be the best way to do it instead of searching because what if I don't get to that color? Well I just wasted time searching for it. So when I need the color I'm pulling it right then and then it's going in here and then it'll be put away at the end of the night. So I do have a couple of clips um I'm pretty sure there's some prog it's my bathroom's still not done. It's functional. We can watch we can take a shower now. Um I got a shower curtain up there, a temporary one. Um he's supposed to be back to finish the walls. I don't know when. Um which I'm not mad. I'm not complaining, you know. He's got other jobs. It's my brother in law who's doing it, so um, he's not like forgetting about us. It's just the last two weeks we have, we've had, had blah, 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 blah. all my poor garden guys. Oh, 
we've had such bad storms and wind storms, pounding rain that my whole garden is looking so sad. Um, yeah, it's so sad. I'm thinking this weekend I'm going to do the other, um, take out the other potatoes. If I remember, if I still have the picture, I'll insert the picture of my harvest of my first potatoes. I was super excited about, but I just went out there today and they're looking bad. So I think I need to get them out of the ground now. So they'll, well, the bags, I don't know what you want to call it, container. Um, now before they go rotten because, yeah. But we got tons of cucumbers. We got tons of tomatoes. Our cantaloupe and watermelon really, they keep blooming. But I'm not seeing anything. So we're going to keep those still going. We're still watering them and seeing what they're doing. They, they got beautiful flowers on them. Um, the pickles are going crazy. The cucumbers are going crazy, but the storm has broken a lot of the stems. So this weekend, I'm really going to clean out the garden and find out, you know, figure out what is good and what's not, what we're going to keep going. Um, yeah, so that's life. Um, I will be better this month and taking pictures because you'll know what I'm starting and what I worked on the night before. Um, a lot of times too, I'm finding with the vlog, it's like, okay, I did 700 stitches, which I know then you see my progress, but I don't know, for some reason, I just haven't been filming like I should. But just summer and a lot of things are going on, so I shouldn't be so hard on myself, but I'm hard on myself. I'm going to try to come back um, every, oh, sorry, Toby's shaking you. He just walked by you and shook you. Um, I'm going to try to every Sunday do a floss tube with the vlog on the back. I kind of like having the vlog on the back so you get to see, well, not this one, but I like the progression that you get to, you saw the floss tube and now you got to see the process of making, or I don't know, the progress of my stitching. I don't know. I just like it. Um, so I will see you guys in a week. Have a great weekend. Bye guys. A week. It would be week, not weekend. <laughs> my gosh. My brain, I'm telling you. Okay. Bye guys. Hello. It is Wednesday. Third, Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Um, all I've been doing is working on this. So that's why I didn't come on and show you clips and show you clips because it's just this. Um, I'm hoping by the end of the week to be done with this one. But did you know if you go on Pattern Keeper, you can click on a pattern, edit, and then right here you click that and you save and it makes it large oh dog's going crazy okay maybe he's gonna stop so I just been going through all of these and making like this one you'll see a big difference with this one it's very hard for me to see it off my phone and then save and then look you can see it so much better okay um, I'm going to be pulling patterns and pulling fabric. Going to try to get the 50, uh, projects ready for next month. Okay, I gotta let you go. The dog's going crazy. They just came home. Okay, hello. It is Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I know. I haven't been on, I haven't been stitching. I didn't pick up Harry Potter. And because I didn't want to work on Harry Potter, my stitching bug went, boy, boy. And I've been getting ready for the 50 on my 50th. So today me and Becca spent the whole day um, cutting fabric. We got 25 projects all ready to go. 
Um, I ordered a whole bunch of fabric, too, because I just didn't like what was in my stash. I didn't really feel like dyeing myself, so I ordered me some fabric. Um, but the last couple of days, I've been putting all the projects in on Pattern Keeper, which took a while. So there's some that Becca has to fix on her computer so I can load them on. Well, really, there's three paper patterns that she has to convert to, um, what is it called? PDF, so I can put it on my thing. I forgot what pro program she uses, but it's a program that she uses to design her own. So I was like, hey, would you mind just putting these in so I can do it on Pattern Keeper? Because I refuse to do pattern, paper patterns, so... I tried doing that where you take a picture and I just don't have good lighting here, so it never works out. She said she would do it, so yay! I can do all my patterns on Pattern Keeper. That way I don't have to count myself either because that be tur that turns out to be a hot mess too. But anyways, I know there hasn't been much stitching, but I'm hoping to get some really good project, progress, not project, progress on this one. Um, it's almost 7 o'clock on Saturday night. And I was up at 8.30, so we'll see how long it can last. I'm hoping to stay up to at least 11, but um, I don't know if we're ever going to eat tonight. I put a, um, what is it called? Uh, corned beef in the crock pot, and yeah, it's still not done. So it's going to be a late night anyway, so I'm going to get off of here because I really want to stitch. I haven't stitched since... Tuesday? Maybe when... Nope, it was Tuesday. I wanted to stitch... Was it Monday? Oh, no, I don't even know. I gotta go look at that. So I'm gonna get off of here, and I might pop on to show you what progress I have. Let me just tell you, this week's floss tube is gonna be short. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Okay, so here's an update. This is what my bathroom looks like. Yeah! It's pretty crazy. Okay, guys. And then here's the pantry. And there's the washing machine. I miss my washing machine. We now have the base of the shower in. Yay! I'm so happy. It's going to be so cool looking. Hello! It is Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I haven't been stitching much, um, with the renovation, and then I went to Jonathan's girlfriend's house one night and spent the night. It's two hours away, so went out there with him and then spent the night and then came back and went right to work, and it was just, it was crazy. And then I've been helping him clean his apartment, so yeah, a lot of things going on. But I did start working on this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was going to try to finish this this weekend. But I'm just not feeling it. I really should finish the... Yeah, I should finish it. I'm just going to finish it like I should and call it a day. So, but guys, 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 I did it. Now, I don't know how to show you this. But look at that. It's finished. Well, that chapter. Um, I just bought some things off of Etsy to try to... How can I do this? Because there's such a bad shadow. Okay, how about that? Maybe. Don't mind my house. It's trashed. But I bought some motifs to maybe put around this. Like I did with this one at the bottom. To maybe, like, I don't know. Cause I don't know. But, yeah. Okay, so can I try to do that? I, it's not going to work. So what I have left is um, chapter 5 and chapter 6. I think this is the Patronus one. I don't remember what this one is. I'm really going to have to look at it and see if I even want to do it. I really haven't kept anything except for this one. 
but I don't know. I'll have to rethink it and see what I want to do. Um, but I got to get some things done around the house. I'm just so happy that that turned out good. I love it. It looks so cool. I'm almost tempted to go find another thing and put it up here. But I got to read what the chapter was about. Because I'm trying to keep the chapters like what it was representing. Um, this one was Quidditch. And I really fell in love with the barrel. Um, but now that I was on Etsy, I found so many more. You don't know how bad I want to just rip this out and do something else. Becca would kill me because she did all the backstitching on there. So I'm hoping putting motifs around it is going to make it look better. Um, yeah, so there we go. I will see you in the next one.